Welcome to yet another video. Today's video I'm going to be doing my current favorites and I'm going to show you guys my current favorites in skincare and makeup as well as just like a random favorites that I have right now. I think I will be doing monthly favorites on this channel because I don't think I will have something that I like so much to be my favorite every single month. So do bear with me. I will be doing these when I do see fits that I do have a favorite and when I really really love a product and yeah if you're interested just keep watching okay, let's move right into the makeup but my first favorite in terms of makeup is a beautiful beautiful Z palette by Sephora it's like I think it's the mini Z palette and basically what it is is that you can fill it in with your own eyeshadows, your own blushes, highlighters, or whatever you feel you want to put in there. I just love this idea because for travel, this is very, very practical. I have palettes like this, and I'm not going to carry all my palettes this heavy when I travel. So this just makes it very, very cool because I'm basically when it comes to eyeshadows and stuff like that, you may have a huge, huge palette. But what are the chances that you're actually gonna use each and every shadow in there? Like, I, obviously you have your favorites and it's just nice to have a little palette like this to travel with. So, that is my number one favorite. Oh yeah, and for this palette, um, if you have eyeshadows that are singles that you'd like to put in here but then they don't have magnets on them, it does come with a couple of magnets. I just don't have them right now. But it comes with its own magnets that you can put right under the shadows and super easy if you're truly truly interested in purchasing one just go to my description box and click the link down below so this palette right here is my current absolute favorite for the summer with palettes I mix and match I'm not that specific to like seasons so this is a great palette for summer although it can be used all year round so if you have me on social media, you probably already see me post this like more than once. So yeah, it is my absolute favorite. And it's just a bunch of oranges, a bunch of neutrals, and it's just got lots of browns. You see a lot of beigey colors, a lot of orange, and it's just beautiful. It's just so beautiful. And when you go to the Morphe palette, I mean, when you go to the Morphe website, it's always sold out. Like, it's always sold out. It's literally hard to get your hands on this palette, but my little suggestion is to physically walk into a BC supply store, or if you have one, um, if you have a BC supply store very close to you, then do look for these palettes. This is where how I got mine. I didn't wait for it to come back to the website because I waited long enough and I was tired of waiting. So I basically went to my beauty supply store and that is how I purchased. Next, I have a lip product and this is just also become my favorite. It's very, very pretty and just like a pink, I don't know what to call this color. It's called Vintage Liquid Lipstick and it's by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's such a beautiful color. It's so, so radiant and it goes with my skin tone so, so well. I've been looking for a color like this. I have one that is close to this and that's Berry Rain by Color Drain. If you guys know um, Color Drain, it's a company that provides a bunch of liquid lipsticks and now they even have eyeshadows. Basically, I get all my liquid lipsticks from them. Um, and I have a color called Berry Rain which is close to this one except this one has a bit more purple in it and that for some reason excited me and I wanted to try this really really bad so this is Vintage by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I think it goes well on every single skin tone I've seen it on it's just beautiful my next favorite um, makeup product is a finishing spray by Skin Food and I just got this from my cousin she got it for me she got this for me because I love makeup 
No, she's just the sweetest. She always gets me these beautiful things. And she got me this Skin Food Red Orange Makeup Finishing Spray. It says Glossy Type on the packaging and it's when you spray it on i think that's why i'm glowing it gives you like a little glow on top of your glow that you already have okay basically i have oily skin so i stay away from glossy finish kind of finishing sprays but this one is so wonderful and so beautiful that it doesn't make you oily in the in the areas that you're oily it just makes you glow in such a beautiful way and it smells like orange if you guys are not familiar with skin food they are a wonderful korean brand um, that actually makes skin products from fruits and vegetables all their products are very natural and are very friendly to any sensitive skin people that's why i personally love their products they go well with my skin and yeah this is just a beautiful finishing spray the next product that i have is another lip product and it is by gerard cosmetics and it's a lip gloss so this is really really shocking because i don't really go for glosses i personally am very like uh iffy about glosses i don't know i've always been says the girl wearing a gloss right now <laughs> I was not the biggest fan of glosses for the longest time lip glosses and I don't know why I just literally would use matte liquid lipsticks matte liquid lipsticks matte liquid lipsticks blah, 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 for like the longest time I would repeat that I kind of have to admit that low-key it does make your lips ashy and you just have to be strong and take it like a woman okay, I have found tip little tricks um, that I use before I apply them and that has helped my lips not to completely dry out when I use them in the beginning it was horrible it was just bad it was it was just no nah. it, it was no nah. it just was not working if you guys want a video on how I apply my liquid lipsticks without them making my lips ashy then just leave a comment but anyway let's talk about this so this lipstick or I mean lip gloss right here I personally have now become a fan of lip glosses as well as lip paints are still you know really like number one high key but lip glosses are really good as well I found this beautiful moisturizing lip gloss that actually has a color to it so it's like extra cool you know you know if you don't get why I'm so hyped it's because I never use lip glosses and I thought that you know all lip glosses are like that old school lip gloss that you owned when you were in high school <coughs> you guys know those lip glosses with the ball that rolls around and then when you put it on it's just shiny with no color basically it just looks like you just ate a bunch of oily greasy french fries this is a beautiful lip gloss and that is from gerard cosmetics and this lip gloss is in the color cocoa bean it is my favorite lip gloss currently and that's why it's in this video though the reason being it is super duper glossy it's super glossy super like it's not i don't really like the whole transparent lips lip gloss unless i'm putting it over a lip paint but or lipstick but this lip gloss actually has a color to it and it looks so good on my brown skin girls you know with that brown skin and i'm sure it looks amazing on other skin tones but for some reason when i used it i was like is that me and like every girl is packaging kind of gets me super duper like hey, hey, hey. gold packaging i think the packaging oh so it has a gold lid first of all i love gold like i love gold accessories i love gold everything and it has a gold lid and it has a little see-through bottle which is okay it's cool and then it has a mirror on it so you can put your lipstick in public like if there's no way to put your lipstick on and you need to fix your lipstick or you can check your lipstick and see if it's still popping and then my lights not working but when you open the thingy lights like literally come out from here the light basically glows when you're putting on your lip gloss i just think that is so cool because if you're, near, if you're in a dark place and you're trying to apply your lipstick and you can't see you have a mirror one 
two, you have a life and that shows you how to apply. Oh my god. <laughs> but oh my gosh, I found it so cool and I just thought like whoever thought about this packaging is a genius. Like shout out to you if you thought about this packaging because it's dope. It's the best packaging I've seen for any lip product ever, ever. So anyway, let's move on. So moving on to my skincare, this is anything that has to do with the face or the body. My first favorite for skincare is this right here. This product right here is a smoothie. It's called the Smoothie Star Breakfast Scrub and it's by Soap and Glory. Guys, the scrub. Now let's talk about this packaging. It's really cute. It has like a pink lid and it has pink writing and it has like a beige little thing and then it's just cute you know and then also another thing is that it smells so good it says right here that it has a maple scent so <sighs> i wouldn't say it smells like maple syrup because that's what i think of when i hear maple what does maple syrup smell like hmm. it smells so bomb so so bomb got a really nice thick texture it's an oat sugar and shea scrub so I love sugar scrubs because they're quite harsh but not too harsh on the skin I feel like sugar scrubs are have a perfect balance between being harsh and also just smoothing out the skin really really well so they won't be like subtle and like not have an effect on your skin they will have a beautiful effect and make your skin so so soft Another favorite of mine is Soap and Glory as well. Um, this is the Heal Genius Amazing Foot Cream. Basically, this Heal Genius, um, I usually use it in the nighttime, and it's basically a moisturizer for your feet. So it keeps your feet really, really soft, and it says um, to put on um, some cotton socks afterwards. That's usually what I do. That's why I use it at night because I sleep in socks. I like socks. I don't know. It just feels good. Put this on right before I put my socks on and it's perfect. It's literally like amazing. In the morning your feet feel like super super soft and amazing. So I would recommend this product for you guys. Okay my next favorite it's basically what I use for my facial skincare now and it's basically helped me with my pores because my pores do get clogged up a lot of the time especially if I'm not on my constant routine it is a Peter Thomas Roth Irish Moment purifying cleansing gel and basically I started using this like a month ago and I've seen no not a month ago like two months ago I didn't want to talk about this product like I was dying to speak about it but I wanted to see if it will continue to work the way it was working and it has so this is a wonderful product I don't want to say my face is a mess but my pores especially in my t-zone region are just an absolute mess it just doesn't work so I asked the people in Sephora in the skincare section what would be good for my pores if I have very clogged pores and I have oily a combination skin type so this is what was recommended to me it has like a list of what it does it purifies and decongests skin and removes dissolves pore clogging oils so this is from Sephora and I believe it was about $35 so I'll just list everything down below so if you guys are curious about prices I'll list everything down below it's really really good oh my gosh it's really good like I could literally cry just talking about it okay that's extra but you know it's good it's really good and I have been using it with a combination of this sponge and it is the Bosha Conjac cleansing sponge with bamboo charcoal I literally went for there's different types of sponges and this is also from Sephora there's different types of Conjac cleansing sponges and I chose the one with bamboo charcoal because it says a pore perfecting sponge for combination to oily skin types and that is me so that's why I chose this one I haven't tried any of the other sponges just as of yet I've just been obsessed with this one so this sponge is used basically to wash your face it's the cleansing brush that you use for your skin um, apparently this is a good equivalent to that brush 
I don't know I have used the brush but I don't know how to compare the two I just feel this is really good and I do use it on a day-to-day -day basis it's not too harsh for the skin as well so these two together are just bomb two of my current favorite fragrances the first fragrance is by Lancome and it was a gift to me this is my one of my ultimate favorites I would say for like a lifetime I got it for a gift as a gift from my mom and it's basically by Lancome and it's called La Vie est Belle and it's basically like wonderful like um ever since I got it I think it's lasted quite some time because I got it like the beginning of the year sometime in the beginning segment of the year and it's been so beautiful it's got a sweet like like a sweet scent to it okay it has notes of jasmine it has notes of orange blossom it has notes of patchouli 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 <laughs> it has notes of patchouli um and yeah basically types of scents that i go for they're very sweet with some vanilla and like you know that kind of vibe so that's why i love this fragrance so so much i would recommend it to any of you girls out there that do have like a fragrance collection or really into fragrances another favorite little fragrance of mine is a eau de toilette fragrance and it's by zara it's just a little bottle like this and it's zara black these little fragrances in Zara are life. Like literally, I can't remember who I was watching on YouTube. I think one of these perfume favorites and somebody said, you need to see, um, you need to check out the fragrances in Zara. And I literally went there and I think they were like $10 each. Well, on sale, they were about $10. And I got the Zara Black fragrance. It's this little bottle right here. And it's just such a wonderful fragrance. It's a very convenient package because you can literally put this in most of your purses like most of your bags that you're carrying around like females um usually if you have a big bag you can carry like a bigger fragrance but who wants to carry the whole bottle this with this one you literally can carry it or you can carry a rollable and this one it's just really convenient and i just love it it smells like sweet again uh, my top fragrance favorite fragrances are uh, like fragrances that smell very sweet and but not too sweet at the same time like you don't want to smell like you're seven years old but at the same time it's just sweet and like kind of matureish but not too old not too like you know grannyish no just beautiful and sweet no shade to the grandma so whatever fragrance is also cool okay they're cool for grandmas but every fragrance i feel like has their target market and yeah the next products I have are hair products and if you are a natural hair girl then these are for you. I guess if you have relaxed hair you can use these too but basically I use this on my natural hair and this is the Argan Oil Leave-In Conditioner by Cantu and it's really really cool, really good conditioner, does its job. I don't have much to say about it except it does what it needs to do. And I love it for that. It moisturizes the hair really well. I think because of the argan oil, it also smells really, really nice. And then I have black castor oil. It's Jamaican black castor oil by Tropic Isle Living. And it's just a simple bottle like this. You can purchase this bottle from any beauty supply store or as well as this from any beauty supply stores. You can purchase these too. Um, this is just Jamaican black castor oil. I feel like it has, um, it says a all purpose healing oil. I feel like it has a wonderful effect on hair. I think it makes it grow. I do believe it does make my hair longer uh, and more healthy. So I do apply this oil mixed with a bunch of other oils. Although I do see what this specifically can do because I've used the oils on their own and I've used it with an addition of this oil. I don't know if it's the combination, but I believe this oil has some powers. <laughs> it has some powers, guys. Okay, so my next favorites are, of course, I'm going to talk about uh, television programs and I'm going to be talking about one specifically that I think you guys need to see and that is Revenge. 
because a friend of mine told me about revenge like a while ago like a couple of months ago and i was like cool i'll watch it cool you know i just thought it was one of those series i was like all right, all right i'll see it when i see it. and it's on netflix and basically i just started it and i wanted to see what it was all about and i remember watching it and watching it and watching it once i got into it i just never stopped watching it it was super duper amazing and yeah ever since then i've just been hooked well right now i actually finished the whole series basically i would recommend revenge and i would recommend power if you're not watching power if you haven't seen power see how hype i'm getting oh my gosh <laughs> it's too much so, basically power is just one of my ultimate i think it's number one basically um it's power then revenge so revenge is really really cool it's really really like addictive people were saying it power is like empire but i don't really see it i feel like they're quite different series to be honest i think they're different but i love power i love me some power no pun intended those are my ultimate favorite series that I recommend you guys should watch for music <laughs> of course I had to speak about music because like come on come on come on I'm literally gonna go to my favorites and tell you what my favorites are right now because I play my favorites on repeat like literally my whole life I'm that one person that's like annoying with a song like once I hear a song I'm gonna play it 10 times 10 times again over and over and over and over and people get so irritated by that and I just love a song when I love a song my favorite song number one is by Tory Lanez and it's called love L-U-V and it's basically a remix of a song an old song he changed a lot of it up but he kept like the same kind of vibe so i used to love that song so much like i literally was obsessed with that song up till this day i think i would still play that song and be so hyped if that song played somewhere and i was there but he did a remix and it's like a well a remake i would just say a remake of the song and it's just <sighs> it's mind-blowing like literally it's mine when I heard this song I was alone and I was like yo I was literally dancing on my life away like I was just like oh my gosh this song is fire 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 hey but it's because Tory Lane's voice is kind of like one of those voices that you're like damn yeah like Tory Lane's and Jeremiah's voices just take the cup they just take it they just again favorite song Tory Lanez controller so you know Drake has a song called controller Tory Lanez went on that song and made his own version again he did a remake of that song and man that song is fire it's so much fire it's so so much fire I was never ready for him to just hit it like that like if you haven't listened to Tory Lanez what's your life like, what, what are you doing? Oh, how are you living life? <laughs> but if you haven't listened to Tory Lanez, do go listen to him. Yeah, if you guys like African music, if you guys do not like African music, what are you doing with your life? I like African music like I do, because I'm African and proud, obviously. But let other people also listen to African music and think it's fire, so if you haven't heard skin tight by mr easy um featuring effia is fire it's like literally goosebumps fire like skin tight it has like one of those like slow beats but it's got a really nice melody to it so it's like really cool if you have come this far you are at the end of the video and that's just my current favorites um that's what i like right now these are just a couple of products i'm recommending to you all you don't have to go out and buy them if you do not want to but of course i do recommend that you get these products they're super duper amazing super affordable most of them yeah most of them are really really affordable that i mentioned today I try to compact everything i try not to have too much so i hope you guys really loved it and didn't feel so overwhelmed if you were in fact overwhelmed i'm going to list all the products that i listed down below 
all the hair products all the makeup products all the skincare products everything that i've spoken about today down below so just go to my description box and check it out i will try and leave links on everything that i can so that you guys are able to buy these products if you enjoyed this video then do hit the subscribe button and i will keep you in tune and you will see all my latest videos come right to you and if you guys want to leave any recommendations of shows music makeup um skincare or anything that i haven't mentioned i really really would appreciate it thank you so much for watching today and i will see you guys next time bye Damn, Daniel. Can I say watermelon is my favorite? And if you're black or white, the first one is this maple syrup, as I was saying. What maple syrup? What? What? Love? What? what?